safety, you'd think he'd be happy for New Zealand. What a question number five, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Mr Speaker, this question is to the Prime Minister and asks, does he have confidence in his Minister of Immigration? If so, why? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, he is a hard-working and competent minister. It's useless. You're leading with your chin. <laughs> Supplementary question. question, right, Honourable Winston Peters. When economists such as Michael Riddell, former RBNZ advisor, and Dr Ganesh Nana, chief economist at Bill, both agree with New Zealand First that mass immigration is, and I quote them, no, it's no, it's trying to shout me down. It won't win you the election, boys. Quote them, is undermining the ability of our economy to achieve productivity growth, end of quotes, and further quotes, setting ourselves up for some significant negative costs over the longer term, end of quotes. Why has this minister been asleep at the wheel all these years? <laughs> the right honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, he hasn't. In fact, the, the government, the, the minister has delivered on what the uh, what is good government for New Zealand and the economy, and that is the ability to get the skills into New Zealand for the thousands of jobs that are available. For instance, we need to build, the, the forecast is that we'll build 200,000 houses over the next six years. That's four times the size of Hamilton, plus the infrastructure. So we need the people who are going to be able to build the houses because they have to be built. Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right, Honourable Winston Peters. How can he have confidence in his Minister of Immigration when fraud and corruption is widespread in the INZ's Mumbai office where it uncovered? Two 65 education agents submitting false information, 338 applications used by imposters, 340 applications with fraudulent funds, and others, countless forged documents. All this in just May of this year. The right honourable prime minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, I think that proves that the immigration department is on the job. Because the reason the member can quote those numbers is because the people got caught. Yeah. And of course you have to be vigilant in any immigration system because New Zealand has become such an attractive country, people are willing to break the law to get here. They're willing to break the law to get here, but we will not let that happen. The Immigration Department caught those fraudsters and they will get the, face the consequences. Question. Supplementary question. Right on the How can you have confidence in a minister that, that didn't learn the lessons, for example, of 2012, where there were countless investigations and found to be merited into fraudulent visas, and where INZ staff were accepting fraudulent applications from family members? Or is it because that accountant makes him look so exciting? Mm. Mm. <laughs> right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, again, what, in 2012, I think the, the fact that people got caught then proves that they were on the job. But the most successful part of the uh, immigration policy has been the Kiwis staying home. And in the last five years, 150,000 people who were predicted to leave New Zealand actually stayed here. And that is success. You went in okay, thank God. <laughs> Question number six, Barbara Kerrigan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My questions to the minister.